Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this palette by Laroque. So this is called the Circus Tent Palette. So this is in the Pro range. You can buy this on Laroque's website. It's around £35, but they do sell it other places. They sell it at Fragrance Direct, which is where I bought mine from. It's £23. You can buy it on prettylittlething.com and it's currently 30% off, so it's around the same price as Fragrance Direct. They have it on Feel Unique. It's currently on on sale for about £26 so obviously by the time you see this those discounts may have changed but it's just to give you an example of what sales there are on this palette because usually it's not as it's better to get it anywhere else other than the website like the, the website is the most expensive place so this is the palette inside and just what it looks like so it is a rainbow palette but you've got more leading towards pinks and reds um, a lot, when this first came out a lot of people were saying it looks like the XL Carnival palette I don't think it does personally because it's a rainbow palette you know nobody owns the rights to a rainbow palette and I would say that this one like I said before it's got like more red tones in it whereas that palette has a bit more diversity in it yeah we're going to play with this palette today um, I think I'm going to go along the lines of like pinks and purples with this because I like love this line of green here but I've done like quite a few green looks lately so I just wanted to do something a little bit different so I'll probably be using like this line, this line and this line. Okay so I have just primed my eyes with my P. Louise white base so I like using this base just to make my shadows pop and we're going to go in with a pink shade so i want to go in with this euphoria shade here it's like kind of a, a pink but with like more of a purple undertone to it so we'll see how this goes on i have used some lorac um palettes before they were all right so i'm wondering like what this is going to be like because there are like lots of swatches of this online and they look really good so i will link my previous videos in the description box so you can check them out so let's go into that euphoria shade So I don't know if you noticed that when I was blending that out, when I first put the Euphoria shade on and packed it like on and then blended it, it kind of seemed to like blend it away. Because first when I put it on my lid, there was like loads of like nice pigmentation. I was like, oh, this is brilliant. And then the more I branded, it just disappeared. And then it was like quite a light pink. So I mean, I built it quite up. Um, and it looks all right now. But yeah, it's not originally what I wanted. But um. I think this was like one of my complaints about like Lorac when I was trying it last time is like the colours blend away a little bit. So I'm going to go into the next shade now which is Trapeze. Um, so if you've noticed a lot of these are like circus themed names which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to put Trapeze like tighter in the crease. So I felt like that trapeze shade went on so much better than the euphoria shade like I felt like it really held its pigmentation a lot better and then I went back with the euphoria and just like kind of blended it over the top to like reinforce that shade and just like blur the edge a little bit of that purple. I want to go into like a deeper colour now and just put that in like my outer corner and I wish there was something like a step you know like maybe more like this kind of shade because I want to go into this take a bow and it looks like it's coming off black on camera to me and it's like a really dark purple I wish it was like a little bit lighter but I'm gonna go in with that and just put that on like the outer corners
dark purple is on in Take About. It looks like more blue when it's on my eyes on camera. It does look more purple in real life. When I was blending it, I felt like with the pink that we put on first, that Euphoria shade, it did kind of blend away a little bit. I did have to like pack it on quite a bit but eventually I got it to the colour that I wanted to do. And I also cut my crease off camera as well. So I want to put a lid shade on and there's like these funky foils in here. There's one, two, three, four, five foils. I can see one, two, three, four kind of like satin shimmers and then there's like one glitter here. And I'm torn between two shades. So I obviously I like pink and like this pink is here called Trickster and then they've got this shade here which is called Vanishing Act which is kind of like it reflects like yellow. Do you know what? I kind of want to try the pink because like I'm doing a pink look but I want it to be br like a br still a bright lid shade. So I'm going to use Vanishing Act and um, yeah I'm going to put that one on my lid. Okay, so I didn't actually realise, but these like foils, they're not foils, they're like a cream. So I'm a little bit disappointed um, because it's not going to stick that well to my base because I have just put the P. Louise base back on to cut my crease and because it's like a kind of a, well the P. Louise is like kind of a moist product and then you put in another creamy moist product on top of it it doesn't last that long and it just breaks down the product so I'm gonna put it on and then we'll see where we go from there but it's already kind of like making a mess in the pan can you see that like my little hole where it's been um yeah I'm a little bit gutted I wish there were foils rather than cream kind of shadows vanishing act on I mean from a distance it does look really pretty and then when I'm looking at it up close I can see like clumps of color I can see like, separation already oh I'm really gutted I, I didn't obviously didn't read the description to say it must have had like cream shades in it rather than I thought they were like a really nice metallic because when they look at them they do look like a metallic so I suppose one of the things I could always do is I could put like this massive highlighter over the top of it to like set it maybe but I'm just gonna leave it for now so what I am gonna do is I'm just gonna go back in with that trapeze shade that really bright purple that one and I'm just gonna put that on the join between the dark purple and that cream shade just so it's not that intense purple shade on I mean it does look pretty cute the look um it obviously didn't go it wouldn't blend on that um cream shade on so I had to just kind of like pack it on but I, mean, I think it looks all right I am just gonna clean up like this lower kind of lash line now with my kimchi cheek uh, concealer this is like a really good container concealer and it's really cheap as well so yeah just gonna clean up that lower lash line because that purple really made a mess Okay, so I'm not really having a good makeup day here, so I just thought I'd just zoom in and show you the damage. So I tried to clean up that lash line here, and honestly, like, I don't know what's happened, but the kimchi concealer has just taken off my other concealer and just gone really patchy, like, it does not layer well. It's done it here and here, so I've tried to put it all over, and then it's just made it, like, a mess here and here, so I, like... I'm just not having a good makeup day. I might have to take it off and start again. But yeah, that looks horrific. But my eyes are looking all right. Okay, so just an update. I've had to take all my lower, anything lower than my eyes makeup has had to come off. Um, because I just tried to keep repairing it or patching up my makeup, like from that little smudge. I tried to put a new concealer on, it kind of was smudging all down here now from the line when I had existing makeup on to the new concealer and then it was smudging on my nose so I've just had to take everything off so I'm really mad at this palette now just because like everything like dropped down and kind of ruined <laughs> the rest of my makeup really so I'm having to like take a break to fix something that didn't need fixing so yeah I'm just going to put some rest of my makeup on I'm going to put um 
well, lashes and liner on as well while we're away. And then uh, we'll do the lower lash line. So I just wanted to share with you now what has happened. Um, I think I'm just having such a bad day. I was just going to put my um, AOA Studio foundation on and like I was squeezing it and literally the kind of nozzle has just kind of squeezed out onto my blender. So I've got like this much amount. I don't even know how that happened because I have literally used it once. I am not having a good day. <laughs> now I've just dropped that nozzle all over the floor so I've got foundation all over my floor. Okay, so we are back. I've put some more makeup on. My lashes are just drying and setting at the moment, so I thought we'd do the lower lash line. And my lip is Too Faced Cool Girl, if anybody wants to know. Just letting you know, because somebody always asks in my video and I forget what it is. Just like to point out, I'm not sure how well you're going to see, that cream shadow has already broken up and is separating at the top, so that is disappointing. But we need a uh, colour to put on the lower lash line now. So I've kind of used all the shades that I wanted to use. I'm a bit gutted that there's not like another purple that I could use to tie into this look. You know what, seeing as it's in the same colour family, I'm going to use this blue here. The blue is called Chaos, which is like what's happening to me today. So I'm just going to put that on the lower lash line. I just wanted like a hint of another colour, I didn't want anything overpowering, so that is what it looks like. I'm going to go on to highlight now and then perhaps use it on the inner corner. So I'm going to use the lighter shade which is House of Mirrors, I really hope it's not another cream shade. No it's not, I mean that is very bright, so that looks amazing. So yeah, let's just see what it looks like on. Yeah, really pretty. I do feel like it's one of them highlighters though that would really emphasize any texture that you've got on because I've got a spot here and it's making it like worse. I don't know whether you can even see it, but I can really see that spot now. So I've put that highlight shade on my inner corner as well and what I've also done is I've taken it on a brush and just patted it over the cream shadow that we had on because it was separating quite bad and obviously I needed to take pictures and everything of the look and I didn't want it like looking really horrible you know so yeah I think it looks like loads better now. So what are my overall thoughts with this palette? So I have been a little bit unlucky <laughs> trying out this palette and that a load of things just seem to go wrong with it. Um, I kind of think along similar lines that I do with a lot of my other Lorac palettes that I've tried out in that the, the pigmentation like appears really nice and then when you blend it, it starts blending away a little bit. Um, I think you can create some really nice looks with it but I think for the price that you pay for this I think there's like better pigmentation on the market and um, things that will get the job done like quicker things that won't blend away because I think this is like the same price as like the um, Carnival 3 palette palette because like, this one's like £35 full price and that's £36 full price so I would probably spend your money there instead um, and you know like I have I've said before it's a rainbow palette you might already have a lot of these shades anyway so yeah I think this palette is all right but unless you really need a rainbow palette you know I wouldn't um, I wouldn't purchase it personally and that's just my personal preference and um, you might think otherwise you might really love this palette but yeah me personally it needs to pack more of a punch I think because I've got that many palettes now that I know what's good and what kind of shadow formulas that I prefer and this is kind of not it so yeah thanks for watching today guys this is just my personal opinion so you don't have to agree with me I think this is an all right palette but probably not for me so thanks for watching check out the videos I'm going to leave you in the description box and I will see you again shortly bye